Okay. So you're going to end up here at some point. Leaning back. Here, right? Okay. The fall, I think the hardest part for this one is the first step here. Um, okay. After star. So let's go up to star. Good. Pushing off the arms. Good frame. So now you're going to pencil your feet together. Push your hips out. Stag one knee and offer me that knee. Because as you bring this down here, I've got to be able to catch you with my foot on your shin. So I find this is the hardest part here. Controlling your core tight enough so you can slow that descent down so it doesn't just drop. Right? So um, I flew a bigger person here this once and they stepped right in my face. So you want to be careful as a flyer. If you are falling, to watch out for your, your uh, base's face. You can knee them in the face of well, the foot. But it's also it's up to the base to be able to control that placement of the shin. So this first placement is the hardest I find because it drops down really fast. So nice tight core and pushing off of the arms. I'm going to lower my leg here so that this foot can reach your shin easier. So I've got to lower this leg a bit. Once I grab, so if I go like this straight, it's a little wobbly because that foot on the shin bone. So I go a little diagonal like this. Okay. So we're pushing off here, right? Okay. So now you have to look up, push off of the arms, and the second foot goes behind the knee here. Now you push off the arms, right? Then the foot takes off of the shin onto the back. This is the part you have to loosen the hand grip and roll around. There you are. And then from here, I take my foot, put it on your shoulder, and then use my right foot to guide you back over and a star. Good frame and pressing up. Okay, again. So don't drop down until I lower my leg enough to where I can reach your shin, right? Okay. So this will make it easier for you to come down. So I keep pressing on the arms. There, boom. See, we're pushing on the arms the whole time, right? Uh -huh. Try to push and not to pull it. There it is. And lean back, trusting it. Boom, pushing in the arms. This foot goes sideways for that support. Allows you to relax into it, because you can hang out for it for a second. Hands, this foot comes off on the shoulder. Leg, leg, up, press, and back. Whew. So it's a lot on you to push off back in the start. Help me yeah. create that frame. Good, good work. Feet together. Push the hip forward. Even more forward. Push the hip forward there. There it is. And if you drop this leg a little low on this other side, drop this left leg, drop it on the other side like a uh, back, back away from you. There it is. Down. Good push. Good push. Good push. Good. Back this way. Yeah, so what that does is when you bring this leg down, it counter, it counter and it slows down this drop. And it sends with my feet are on the ground. <laughs> sure. And it's really pretty, right? Because it has a split yeah. look. So instead of being here, drop this a little bit. So when this leg comes down, it okay. counters and it slows down that descent. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do it um, again from back to left. Even here, bring one leg over at a time. Okay. Bring it all the way over, counters it, slows it down. I use my toe to push you back up. This toe there, there, push you up, then I press up. Connected. Here, now we'll do that counter legs, right? One comes forward, one goes back. Good stuff. We drop the other leg, nice. So now as I lower my leg here, it slows this down more. Good, get that leg dropped a little more. There, push. Through, boom, back, and over. Personally, I find this harder than three step. Sometimes the, the more elegant way is actually easier. So okay. up here, coming back up, same thing. Pushing back up to start. Legs all the way over, good. This time, instead of me catching your shin, I'm gonna try to reach for the back of your knee on that leg. Ooh, the same okay. leg, okay? It, it won't be any harder. We'll skip a step, but I think it'll be even easier. Okay. So you come down. So instead of me reaching for a shin, I'm gonna reach for the back of your knee, okay? okay. I keep pushing on the arms, back of the knee, boom. <laughs> you okay? Yep. So next time, I think, I think I'm gonna reach for the inside. It'll give okay. you more support. So it'll be like this, jump on, <laughs> boom. There, good. Pushing off the arms, and over. Okay. Okay. 
That's a lot of core in your part, right? Yeah, it is. There you go. And it just, I underestimated how hard that would be to keep that other leg back. Good. Deep breath. Yeah, right? It is your resting pose. Relax. It's relaxed. Good. The, after this first part, it becomes easy. It's always, that, usually it's that first step that's always hard. You get that momentum going. Keep pressing in the arms. Core, core, core. Drop that leg. Good. In. Good. Boom. There it is. Nice. I find that safer because when you catch on the shin, yeah. Down, Sometimes the shin is because of that bone, it's weird. It's kind of a oh, weird yeah. bone. Oh, yeah. Laurie's got super sharp shins. Yeah, so to be able to reach for the back of the knee, although it's more work, in, I think, in the beginning, I feel like if you do fall, though, you'll likely land on your feet, right? Cause you're yeah. Coming down yeah, because especially since that back yeah. leg is countering, if anything, that leg is going to come down and hit the mats yes. before too much of my weight goes the other direction. Yeah. So that's what happened that first time, is I kind of un wasn't quite prepared for how quickly that back leg was going to come down and it just yes. came straight down to the mat. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think just avoiding, if your base is constantly pushing, you can't fall into them, so that's the basis job. You can also just collapse on them, right? Yeah. Um, but if that's the case, it's more the base landing on like getting the face smushed, then you wouldn't hurt because your, your back will land on the face, which is kind of soft. So it's more on the base. I think it's more dangerous for the base here, it seems, than the flyer. You could definitely fall forward as a flyer, right? So this, yeah. this position here, leaning back, as you're pushing off of the arms, bend this knee, please. So let's say we're still here, I think, right? Um, so the place where you were, like here, let's turn this around. Are you oh, pushing yeah. here? No, I'm sorry. Let's go back up to start. I was thinking about that spot when you're leaning forward that's dangerous for the flyer. So back over, push it. Good, hips over, more pike. There it is. Okay, Your uh, left arm keeps falling down a little further, so I don't have. Oh, I see. No, this one. Okay. Your left. Mm -hmm. That's your left, correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> this one. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. Good. I'm gonna reach for behind your knee, okay? Okay. Like four, four, push, push, push. And boom. Here, this part here, you can fall forward, yeah. right? But if your fly keeps pushing off the arms, you have something to push off of. Okay? So it's important for the base to keep arms. That's the first thing when I was first basing is I was so focused on my legs, get them right, that I forgot the fly needs your arms, arms. as that platform to push off of. So, And you'll learn that as you keep moving, coordinating more. Coming over. A nice big tight. Thank you. Keep it tight. Push off this hand in particular. I'm going for the shin. Oh, good. good. See, even with that, right, you could definitely fall me, but if the base keeps pushing off, that means you're keeping your body weight up. Oh, weight enough, yeah. And that slows down that enough to where a bad fall can't happen as, as like, severely, right? So, yeah. like, a basic principle is for the base to keep pushing so that providing your fly or something to push off of. Woo! Deep on the lower back, I imagine, yeah. uh, rolling back, because you're like marching back. So, um, to warm up to that, we should definitely do uh, bridges uh, and also doing our um, yeah, headstand, headstand okay. straddle, and then learning how to control this down like this as slow as Actually, you can. Actually, what I've been doing, because right. I've been trying to take it into a uh, pigeon pose, basically. Yeah. So I bring the one knee as far close to my nose as I can and stick the other leg out so that I've got a pretty landing. <laughs> um, not then, super smooth and I can't do it every time, but that's, yeah. I didn't know any better. It was just, it seemed like a good idea. And to base that, you would just have to really work up your one-legged strength. Yeah. So there, it's pretty much... It's a lot of pistoning back, so 
One good thing is to hold on to something and then you want to get squashed to get that balance and then eventually work up to just making it like that. Okay. Build up that strength.